Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video we're going to compare the two hottest phones available in the market. One is the Galaxy Note 2, this runs the Android and the iPhone 5. Yes, I know it's not a fair comparison because they run completely different operating system but at the time of shooting this video this is the flagship Android phone and this is the flagship uh, phone from Apple. So let's compare the same. So this is the iPhone 5 and this is the Galaxy Note 2 and the first thing is the size difference. The Note 2 is the most massive phone. It sports a 5.5 inch screen and the new iPhone 5 sports a 4 inch screen. But again, uh, the Note is considerably bigger and if I place the iPhone over the uh, Note 2, you can see the iPhone uh, is puny. Uh, again, uh, ergonomic wise, iPhone is pretty easy to hold but uh, if you have small hands, you'll have a problem with the Note 2 but again if you are a person who likes to have a large screen this is the largest uh, screen phone that you can find in the market and uh, coming to the processor uh, let me just unlock these phones slide in. and the processor in the Note 2 is a Exynos quad core processor that's clocked at 1.6 gigahertz on the other hand the uh, iPhone 5 sports the new uh, Apple A6 processor the RAM on a, uh, the iPhone 5 is supposed to be 1 GB but on this Note 2 Samsung decided to put 2 GB of RAM so that's a significant boost. Uh, coming to the camera, uh, the rear facing camera on both the phones are actually 8 megapixel and the front facing camera on the Note 2 is a 1.9 uh, megapixel but again the iPhone 5 uh, front facing camera also has been bumped up now and it can do HD uh, video recording in FaceTime so that's a tie I would consider and moving towards the back panel in here's the difference as we know most of the Samsung phones are mostly the body is mostly plastic it's the same the case with this one and this is a glossy plastic and I feel it's a little bit slippery it's the Note 1 uh, had a better back cover in my opinion this is just too slippery in my opinion on the other hand the iPhone 5 actually it's a uh, mix the top and the bottom portion this one and this one actually does still have glass but the center portion is made up of aluminium yes I know that uh, in long term usage you can get scuff marks easily on the iPhone and the Note 2 will resist that because of this glossy plastic so let's just go back now I have connected both the phones to the same Wi-Fi network and I have cleared the uh, cache so let's just uh, fire up the web browsers on both the same one two and three and both of them loaded at the same time I would say I will also just go to Google on this one iPhone and let it load Google and now let us uh, let's first go to a site called as uh, Engadget I'll also search the same on this one And I'm going to hit uh, click on the same at the same time and I guess and I think it will take us to the mobile version first so let's try that one two I click the iPhone a second later but it is still taking time again uh, it's still loading done again out of the box uh, this note 2 runs the jelly bean update so flash is not there even on the iPhone the flash is not there now what we will do is I'll just zoom in so that I don't miss in Oh, this is the mobile version so we can't zoom in uh, I'll try to hit the desktop link at the same time for both these phones one two oops and I'm gonna hit open one two and I've clicked on the same time and again uh, I would say definitely the note rendered it a little bit faster the iPhone is still loading the note completed it so definitely in the terms of web browsing the Note 2 is loading it faster and one more thing I have noticed is uh, if you scroll in the iPhone with very long pages like this it just stops scrolling after one page it just doesn't smoothly scroll throughout again pinch to zoom I would say is very smooth on both the phones as you can see no issues so that's uh, even let us try one more site just for the sake of it Let's go to a site called TechSpot. TechSpot. 
art.com no let's try the verge let me search for the verge let's just go to google that's a very heavy site so let's, let's go to google now and we'll just search for the, the verge Search that. I'm going to search the same on this one also, and I'm just trying to hit the same link at the same time. One, two, and three. Yes, and uh, looks like the note finished half a second or so faster. So I would say almost comparable but the note 2 is slightly faster in terms of loading the web pages that might be due to the quad core processor and the 2 gb of ram that this supports let's do the scrolling and see pretty smooth on the note 2 again the same case with the iphone pinch to zoom as usual on the iphone is very good so no change but again due to the big size of this Note 2 uh, definitely you can see a lot more I would say and as you can see the Note 2 displays a little bit more of the content and also without even zooming you can actually read stuff so if you do a lot of web browsing definitely a bigger screen helps so it's a personal preference if you like big screens again the Note 2 is the way to go but if you like the compact next the iPhone 5 also is no slouch in terms of web browsing now one more thing that I've noticed is the color difference uh, as this note 2 has a super AMOLED screen the colors are a little bit saturated I would say on the bluish tinge and I just want to show, highlight this white area and you can see it's a little bit more whitish on the note 2 uh, the iPhone is slightly yellowish. It's not yellow. I would say uh, actually the Note 2 is saturating it. That's why it looks a little bit more a uh, whitish blue in my opinion. Now both these phones do have voice recognition, and uh, we do have actually two types of voice recognition. One is the Samsung's proprietary S Voice, and we also get Google Now. I'm just going to test Google Now and Siri, and I feel hit the home button for a while and hit this G button uh, the Google now loads and I'm going to switch to Siri also and we're going to try a few questions let it just reset what's the height of Mount Everest? Mount Everest is 8,848.0 meters tall Siri also recognizes but it's a lot slower still checking the source and we already have the results on the okay. note 2 now I got the results let us try one more uh, who is the Prime Minister of United Kingdom the Prime Minister of United Kingdom is David Cameron checking on that would you like me to search for when for was the Prime Minister of United Kingdom it did recognize but the note 2 with Google now produces the results faster and the iPhone suggested me to search the web for the same and now it's doing a Google search for that and I got the correct result uh, let me also try one more thing but I think so Siri is better in some other tasks for example let's just reset and uh, for example tasks like setting alarm or whatever so let me try that Set an alarm for 2.15 Setting alarm Okay, the okay. note to set an alarm for 14, Both do that uh, without any issues, so that's okay And uh, one thing is that timer function is not there in uh, this uh, Google Now uh, Let me just try a timer Set a timer for 30 minutes I said 30 minutes and uh, uh, what do you say the note to recognize it properly as 30 minutes but the iPhone took it as 20 minutes so 
That's okay. I'll be doing an in-depth testing of the Siri versus uh, what do you see the Google now in another video. So you can check out that for more info. Now coming to the words the battery, uh, Apple does not like to mention the milliampere rating of their batteries. But I got the figure from uh, what do you say iFixit page now, and according to them, the battery that the iPhone 5 uses is a 1432 milliampere battery. But according to Apple, uh, the iPhone 5 has the best battery yet, so I'm just going to take their opinion. On the other hand, the Note 2 uh, has a 3100 milliampere battery, and the battery is user replaceable because you can take out this cover and replace the battery. Uh, again, I did not do extensive testing of battery with the Note 2, but uh, in my opinion, the 3100 milliampere battery should be able to last you one full working day without any issues. And now coming down to the pricing and this will be uh, based for pricing in India. Uh, in India we need, do not get contract phone so we need to pay the full price of the phone. And as of now this Note 2 is officially available in India and it is selling for a price of around 39,000 rupees. On the other hand the iPhone 5 has yet not been released in India but by the end of October it's supposed to be released officially and uh, I don't have the exact pricing but I've heard rumors that the 16 GB iPhone 5 will be priced around 46 to 48,000. So definitely the Note 2 is about roughly about 8 to 9,000 less compared to the iPhone 5. Again I would say uh, choosing which phone depends upon the platform if you're used to the iOS definitely the iPhone uh, 5 will go and uh, if you like the Android you can go with the Note 2 but again the Note 2 is a very large phone. So for people who do not like such a large uh, phone, you can definitely look at the Samsung Galaxy S3. It is very similar to what do you say the Note 2. It's just that we do not have this S Pen facility on the S3. And let me also show you this interesting thing. This is known as the S Pen. And uh, you can jot down notes for example. I'm just going to write. And that's pretty cool. And you can also do some uh, funny stuff with this. For example, let me show you the same. Let me just go to the browser and let's say I just wanted to uh, give this info to somebody else. I can just click on this S Pen and take a snapshot and now I can highlight like this here and I can mail it to the person. So this is uh, additional functionality that we get with the Note 2 with the S Pen. So I hope uh, this video makes sense. So this, these are the main differences between the iPhone 5 and the Note 2. That's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech and I hope to see you in my next video.